Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in the unforgiving legendary Iron Man super modded world of 90 plus additional mods. And the goal of this campaign is to throw out as many factions as possible. Three are still remaining and uh, two out of uh, three Chosens had been killed. So one is remaining on that front. So those are our goals. If we can get an alien ruler on top of it, that would be fantastic. So that's really the idea of Royal Rumble. Today we're going into Operation Death Storm where we are fighting for Dr. Alexandre Dobrinin, an engineer. Uh, who is uh, helping us to also counter undying loyalty and since many of our soldiers that are not on the prime team unfortunately are out of commission we are running sort of the uh, budget version and a mixture between the b and c team so i would call it b minus or c plus the taxi and implacable are running the show here and i added bubble and haywire uh, Inquisitor makes a return, this time with an upgraded bulb up, and Secundus, our second spark, is with us for the first time. I gave him the, the plasma blaster because we wouldn't uh, use it in a real scenario with our prime uh, team anyways. Upgraded the weapon as much as necessary, and really what these guys are doing now is trying to win that uh, one mission and hopefully get a promotion out of it. The mission itself is uh, heavily, heavily um, swarmed with psionic enemies, which is why you saw four mind shields as well. And maybe the warlock even comes on top of it, which yet again would just uh, yeah, constitute that we need to uh, keep mind shields up all the time. Let's jump into it and see how well we're doing. Good, hello! Let's move into that mission. We are pretty far away from the container, actually. And only nine turns. That means we have to improvise a little bit. Get creative on how we can move there as fast as possible. <clears throat> and what I would say is we also got to move in aggressively so there's the other faction the marauders which are a sort of skirmisher faction and let's see if this here triggers it does not okay well so far we only see the marauders that's not enough those uh, by themselves would not be threatening But I can promise you there will be more. Like, we had 20 plus enemies. Oh, look at that. Another team right up here. That whole situation reminds me of a different game. I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, competitive esports, but there is a game that I'm following from time to time called Apex Legends, which is basically one of those new um, shooters that are um, using battle royale mechanics anyways i don't want to talk too long about it but the point that i'm trying to say is the smaller the zone in that game becomes the more different factions are cramping up and often on different levels so you do kind of have a top spot and a bottom spot so both of them can't see each other but the moment that they engage with one another it starts becoming dicey and this here reminds me a little bit of such scenario. I think we're still taking the high ground, just in case. But equally, we might fan out depending on who or what we can see. So, next turn will be a setup turn. And then I would say it's go time afterwards. Sector at Prime Master. That in itself is a nasty enemy. That's a five or six man Marauder squad. 
And one of them is a psionically active one, the Guardian, who does has, have solace. That's a clever combination. So in and around him, mental effects will be cancelled. I like that faction. They seem really interesting. Like I think it's the same faction that the Reapers are fighting on, but maybe I'm wrong. I think it's a different one. It's maybe a, the rogue faction of uh, the actual skirmishers. Who knows? Now that's a problem. Can't really get in much deeper. What I will say though is we gotta get as close as possible to the action without triggering. Hey, Warrett. Moves up. Yeah, we can't start yet. Uh, with a spark, it's a tricky subject. You want to be careful to not be spotted out. They can't take cover. And finally, let's just double check what the tower could bring as a potential hack. Yeah, supply is not really what we need at the moment. Good, Ataxia again moves as close to the action as possible. And Bubble, I, he needs to set the enemies up, so we need high ground. Overwatch, Overwatch, not the best turn, but we are, the pack on top here forces us to not advance any further. And now they are triggering the Marauders. And they have placed themselves nicely in between us and the Marauders. Great. Sector Prime. Mind Bender. Look at that. And that's an Archon, a normal Archon. That's exactly what we need. And a normal Codex, who, by the way, needs to die immediately. Shit, we killed a Marauder. I did not want that to happen. Lots and lots and lots of Overwatch. All right, Holy Warrior. Did he just kill two for one? Okay, that's not a good showing of uh, the Marauders. I think Advent just quite literally just uh, killed all of them, or nearly all of them. Damn it. Good. That has removed Overwatch, which is great. Can we hit that Codex? I think we can. Might as well use our free actions to clean up here. You want some more? It would be important that we're killing the Codex. Uh, not good, okay.
We will take an overwatch shot. Luckily, codices uh, do not have the strongest shot. The reason why I'm so keen on getting him down is the moment that the psionic bomb would land up here, we would have a massive problem. One, two, three. Okay, well. Overdrive. The Legionnaire is shredded. Very good. That should be a kill. Okay, fantastic. What's over there? Taxia moves forward. Yeah, fully advancing, hopefully not triggering something. Okay, cool. Let's try to get that mind bender down together. Nice crit. Perfect. No inhuman reflexes. That's good. Trying to set up that Archon. Free reload and come on. Good damage from the Spark. Fantastic damage. We could uh, reposition ourselves, which I really don't think is the best idea yet. But I also don't want to use run and gun. So might as well just take the shot, take that guy down and stay where we are. Inquisitor takes an overwatch. We're okay. Oh boy, the Warlock on top of our other problems. That's not really... That's not really what I was hoping would happen. Low profile, gets extra defense every turn, cannot trigger Overwatch, can reveal all units, is immune to critical strikes, and can summon. Takes increased damage from close range. Okay, that is something. And Templars, we can't really work with that at the moment. Our mind shields would certainly help us, but 65 hit points, 5 armor is quite a uh, quite a statement. I think the Marauders just quite literally killed themselves. That was a really disappointing showing. Like the Holy Warrior thing into covering fire, um, where he first helped his teammate. First of all, they received, like, one of them died with the first Overwatch. Okay, can happen. Which kind of leaves five others uh, left over. Then the one guy uh, essentially uses Holy Warrior into covering fire, which is a two for one kill. So that's already down to three. Then the other one moves down to two. We unfortunately um, kill one further and the last one moves into Overwatch. They have not done anything. And I think that they are actually a reasonable, interesting faction because 
We've seen them uh, two missions ago where they were fighting against uh, the Rift Keeper, and they really did uh, well in that fight. But for whatever reason, this time it just wasn't working out for them. Really poor positioning, and then, yeah, the rest is history. Six more turns. I think. I think we need to play this one carefully. All right, nothing there. We could move up and just use uh, the the upper ledge here to our advantage. That did not trigger anything, but I definitely saw that there was someone in here. Out. Yeah, let's... Let's use the grapple. Let's get everybody up there. And we'll just move in next turn. But careful, I'm just moving to fields that I know have not triggered anything. Okay, it's a bit of a dangerous endeavor. Uh, we're going to see zombies spawn. Because the warlock will summon. And that also means we need to move next turn. Like move away from the zombies, but that should be okay. Pretty sure there is not a second Marauder pack. Wow, four zombies. It's getting worse. Ten hit points each. At least they are clustering up in and around the same the same unit. Good, very good. Okay, let's be reasonable. We can't fully commit yet. Not this turn. We're fighting the zombies. And then next turn we're going to go down. It sucks, but it is what it is. Let's move already. Okay, so three points of damage. Let's kill this guy. Nice little explosion. Okay, cool. Yeah, that we only got uh, supplies if we were to hack that, so no thank you.
good and placable. Just a bit closer. And we do have three reloads, so might as well use them. Reload Overwatch, and we got another reload over here because I want to chain shot next turn and then I need some extra ammunition. Oh wow, the Venators, those were the guys that were moving in and uh, could uh, stun everyone. Yeah, just like that. Damn it, I just reloaded, dude. We need to engage the warlock soon so that the timer stops. Alright, let's try to kill him. That is very, very unfortunate. Attacks here. Need two more turns. Oh wow, we can already see that there is another pack down there. Okay, wonderful. We need to shred these monsters. Question is, how are we going to do this? Um, I think reload is fair. Let's try to crit him. Did not work. Wonderful. Advanced teamwork right over there. Let's try that again. And let's hope that this is killing him. No, nope, that would have been an insta kill. I will do another advanced teamwork because Ataxia would not be able to instantly kill these guys. It's getting worse and worse. We need to kill the Venators. Okay, none of these guys would instantly kill. And we do have a bit of a problem here. Moving over. I forgot they also have an explosion radius. Ugh. Terrible enemies. It's not enough damage. The question is, we position ourselves here. 
and do this. That would deal damage to Implacable due to the explosion. 7 to 10, but it would also kill the Venator. And shred the other one. I think I actually need to do that. Well, we're overwatching. Haywire took quite a bit of damage. This guy is now cloning himself. Venators by themselves are nasty, man. We need to push forward and we need to get out of uh, this really, really poor position here. Edward gets a healing. We are 5 plus 3, that should be a kill. I would like to get as close to the container as possible. Spark potentially needs to hack soon. Super heavy turret. <laughs> Can't haywire protocol. Okay. Well. Here I come. Good. Moving out. Moving over here. And can we grapple somewhere? I would love to see that turret. This here is receiving cover from Implacable. Okay, very good. So, first things first. Let's kill this guy. Followed up by this guy. Good. Reload. And let's kill this guy. Moving out of range of that turret. Reload for Implacable. Overwatch Inquisitor. And we have one more healing. Potentially going for Bubble. There is a massive pack down there. Hope we can move to the edge. And try to hack from up here. One more turn onto the zombies. Ah, 
miscalculated that. Not one more turn until zombies zombies are happening right now. At least we got Blade Storm. Spectre Rupture should explode the car. Two turns. If we move up, we will trigger the pack downstairs. There is no question about it. If we do not move up, we will have a problem. There is, again, no question about that. No matter what we do, we're going to have a problem. Moving up with the placable, triggering at least one pack. Yeah, more than one. Oh boy, these guys look nasty. Jetpacks, Elite Raptor Commando. Ooh. All right, time to push forward. So, for fighting with the Spectre Zombies, which by themselves are a problem, let's get that super heavy turret and remove the Overwatch, because that indeed would be an issue. Oh boy. That is in the way. We would need to go as far as here in order to hack. That would be sacrificing the mech though, because we wouldn't be able to survive. Question is, can we survive in our current condition here? Overdrive. Moving up with bubble. I do have an idea. I could maybe destroy all of this here and free up the hacking spot. Nope, not like that. Destroy the turret. And I think we're in range. Good. Spark can do its job and just hack this. Wow. Well, might as well go for enemy protocol. Why not? Great option. So at least we are getting a Pyrrhic victory. So if we're losing these guys, we're not losing them for nothing.
So wait. Well, that's a good uh, potential hit, but before we're doing it... Let's see, if we were over here... Trying to see if we would reach these guys. No, we would need to be all the way up to here. Um, you know, Haywar might not have the most hit points and her pistol deals the least amount of damage. So I suppose that is actually quite helpful. heal someone I mean that's the best chance that we have just getting those zombies away bubble takes um, the aid protocol that means we get one overwatch shot Three hit points missing. Four. I hate it. Now a full squad point recovery would be exactly what we need. Good, let's heal ourselves. Ataxia will be needed in the future. And he he has lost the most hit points at the moment. We're very likely going to lose one or two operators. Just too many enemies, despite the tactical analysis. And I think they just killed the mech. Wow. Massive damage. We've lost control of the package. Recover it at all costs. We can't afford to lose that material to the aliens. In death, some would speak of honor. Trooper is disoriented and then needs to take a really nasty shot. All right, so this guy has banish. <laughs> to the perils of battle. Also fire on my position. You will regret your resistance. Are we done? and sabotage his weapon i tell you what it is a furic victory if we're not uh, killing everybody we will still have stopped the dark event so that is what we came here for i do not believe that we can outgun them just double checking how far can we run Triggering any overwatch that's left over. Cargo duty. 
getting the data that we needed. Let's get some revenge. Fortunately, we don't have death from above on any of the characters and without it, we are just missing the ability to reset and without the ability to reset, as you can imagine, everything just turns to dust. Do we have anyone else that we can kill? No, that's not going to be a kill. No, that's neither of these are kills. Which means we're just evacuating. Another spark that has uh, been biting the dust. I think we just can't really get them up. Uh, not against so many enemies. We would need to first of all invest definitely more uh, into into armor of sorts and if that doesn't work out uh, it, if we do that then maybe the spark is working out but we've now invested around four Elarium cores and I don't I don't think that they had been particularly useful plus they are not scaling as well into the end game and we're already in the end game so where we could have used them a bit earlier, there they would have been really, really, really useful. And as fire support, they still are great, don't get me wrong. Um, and f uh, the Rainmaker ability to just take large chunks of cover away and set them up for uh, death from above shots. All of that, I think, is still very much uh, playable, but we would need to reach a higher level. And the spark basically sacrificed its life this time to get the hack and it paid uh, with its parts for that it paid with its life with its um, creation for it so spark down and we got one promotion well this is how missions are looking Common presence, yes, please. Great option. We got one laser sight and we counted undying loyalty, but that's about it. We unfortunately potentially lost the area as well, the region. What a nasty mission. No, we did not lose the region, but still. Yet another lost mission. Well, you won this one, Warlock. I hand it to you. But we're going to see each other very soon in your stronghold. And then we're going to see who has the last laugh. Nah, nothing that I would sell at the moment. Let's, gain, and let's continue gaining some intel. And I still need fire support, which will allow us, how much would it cost to build the tower here? 350, right? Yeah, we, we will need to wait the four days in order to do that. Roro has fortress as an ability. Fantastic. Really good ability. Um, continues with stasis. Thank you.
Shooter gets uh, domination and then follows up by stasis, just the two best abilities right from the get go. If he gets Nullens as the next one, then I don't know, he would be the most lucky Psyker ever. I think soon we need to do one of the facilities. Two more days and uh, then we'll get minus one on the Avatar project. There we go, end of the month. We didn't really fail the Gorilla Ops, dude. We still countered the Dark Event. Good, so new construction doesn't matter. Viper rounds on them, that would be nasty. The Hidden Event could be nasty as well. So, lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into contact, yes. Into combat, yes. And I think the rest is fine. The Templars will follow. There is the sabotage. 600 supplies which i think we're now going to the black market just to double check what that has to offer and right afterwards i would uh, build the radio relay tower get fire support hire some more rookies Superior speed isn't bad, superior autoloader is fine, uh, the superior scope is definitely a must buy item. And I think after we purchase the alloys, I would keep the rest. Speed is good, I like it. For 90 until we could get a Colonel uh, Grenadier. Hmm. That would be helping us. You know, maybe we're, maybe I'm actually purchasing that. Getting a Colonel off the bat. That's good. That's really good. It's a good reward. Good. People recover from their wounds, which also tells me that there will be people who need removal from negative traits. And now that we do have supplies and some alloys, I think we wanted to build a few things. Number one, how about we're doing the PCS Hive Drone? Okay, good. Number two. There were a few new items that we wanted to build. Deployable turret. There we go. 100 supplies, 10 alloys. Okay. 25 supplies again, 10 alloys. Yep. Oh, and that needs an Alarium core. I don't know if if I'm down to invest that much, but let's see what the MK2 turret has to offer. Scimitar. And that needs more, more alloys. Okay. Let's give it a short check, shall we? Deploys an XCOM selected turret at a specific location. Does not expire until destroyed. Not sure if that is a multiple times usable item or not, but I would guess it is doesn't say that it's not on the contrary 
What does that sword offer us? So, scimitar. The current uh, Hunter's Axe is 4 to 6 points of damage. Same damage, uh, better crit damage, uh, same crit damage. Armor piercing, okay, and extra aim. Immune to gas, gas, poison, and stun. That is good. Still can be disoriented, panicked, mind controlled, and dominated, or hurt, or hurt by acid. Uh, designed to inflict poison effect, it does slightly more damage than the base sword. Okay, so it's a slight upgrade, but clearly we could upgrade it to a magnetic version. Not as good as the shields at the moment, but I will keep it in mind. It's definitely an interesting and interesting option. The turret so far seems like the stronger option because it's stationary and gives you effectively two more shots right level three bond reached and roby plus inappropriate murphy can actually increase the bond even further like it technical coverage yeah, we had we had that. Build a second one of the PCSs. That's good. And finally, improved bullpups. Uh, that means the skirmisher can also deal more damage. We don't need facility leads. Did I want more uh, more intel? Well, we could do that. But I, I would always want more intel, so let's, for now, really focus on getting these guys here out of the way. And I would love to, uh, as much as I love to just go with the Rift Keeper or Gatekeeper, I think... Did we get the Archon Corpse? No, we didn't, because we needed to flee. Shh, that's bad. I think we're starting with a loss because I know that we need the lures and we have quite a few loss. And then I think as much as I want to research the end game units, let's just start with the small ones and test a couple of these items. Live fire training, that's good. Making contact here would be instant and quick. And we might as well want to do that. Good. The loss allow us to build lures. And as uh, those of you who have seen the Rookie Balboa campaign know, the lures are really, really good. We got plus one damage to vector rifles. Yes, we're taking that. And in the, mean the meantime... Let's not yet do that. Instead, with 160, what I would want to do is recruit. So the recruitment is open, ladies and gentlemen. Whom do we want to recruit? A couple of viewers would be great. Edgar Allan Poe down here. That would not be uh, not be a bad decision. The face seems familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, Shadow Realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a, definitely a viewer. That is definitely a viewer as well. Let's recruit Brian. 
a nasty Scottish man. I think this is Jarenks and uh, Jarenks had specifically asked me to be recruited. See, if you write that down in the comments, then the chance is a tiny bit higher that you're getting into the roster. A couple of further viewers here. Pietro, Johnny Bravo. So many viewers. Let's take some that we haven't had yet. John McMullen. Pretty sure this one is a viewer character as well. All right, so four new recruits. Let's see whom uh, we have gotten. So we got Aviator, we got Jeranks, we got Golden Boy and Haxor. Welcome to the squad, my dudes. We need more Grenadiers, so congratulations, you are in. And I might hire that, uh, that uh, Colonel Grenadier. We definitely uh, could use one or two more Rangers. Sharpshooters were good. And... Specialists, I think one or two more specialists are also fine, but let's start with two Grenadiers and maybe one more Ranger and one more Specialist. So, Skirmisher is the only one that we haven't done yet. So, Brian, you're the first up for training. You are becoming a Grenadier. Congratulations. Wait, let me double check something else. So this, te this team here attacks uh, Ataxia, Roby, Inappropriate Murphy, Zirkim, and Implacable. Like that's the next branch of people that needs to go to Colonel. That's the B team, so that we that uh, that we do have two solid teams with equipment, and then everything from Inquisitor downwards would be. Um, the newbies. Inquisitor. We got a Grenadier. We pl got plenty. Yeah, okay. So one uh, one more Grenadier definitely would be helpful. Maybe even two more Grenadiers. Let's say one more Grenadier, one Specialist, and then another Grenadier. Then we do have enough um, soldiers at that rank. And I remembered that I wanted to buy a Grenadier. So the moment that the current research is over... Let's get the intel done and let's make sure let's make sure that we get uh, the improved uh, the kernel uh, grenadier done. Okay, what else do we want to do? I think we can scan for intel and wait until the warlock is available because that's our next target. And hopefully everything else will just be okay until then. Is what he said before he found out that we're having a massive attack to uh, uh, West Europe. Okay, Haven Assault. That's one of those which you automatically lose. Codex Prime, Fanatic, Elite Spectre... Collector Drone, Mutant Commander, Pyro, Cyborgs, Berserker Primes, Mamba, Perch, Etile Sectored. I think that means Perch Elite Sectored, and someone has just misspelled that. Oh, yeah. Perch Elite. I think it's just a misspelling. Uh, Perch Elite Sector uh, and some other troopers. Okay, cool. Well, for the 
Sounds like we are off to another terror mission. I like those much more than the VIP missions because they are great fun. We're unfortunately losing them as well, but uh, at least we're going out in style against uh, uh, them and don't lose our entire team. Cool. If you uh, um, are as sick as I am of the terror of the YouTube algorithm, think about the only way of how you can overcome it, which is clicking that like button. Um, and then the channel will be a bit more successful. Thank you for doing so and see you in two days. Bye bye.